yo. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? It's Eddie Johnson. I'm the host of Yo, Yo, the podcast. Uh, we're here for episode 12. Um, so today we're going to talk about friends and friendship and just the dynamic of, you know, what good and bad friends can do to you. Um, I brought along Michelle again. Michelle, what's up? Hey, guys. Thank you so much for having me again. I'm super excited about this topic. And, uh, yeah, look forward to talking more. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Let's go. So, um, what we're doing, again, we're going to be um, recording on Yo-Yo the, Yo-Yo the Podcast. So, you can actually see the, and hear the episode. Right. And then you can also see us live on YouTube, Grace Speaks um, YouTube channel. That's right. Um, so I think this is a a good topic. Uh, speaking of that, the dynamic of friends and and friendship. Um, the Bible says that you know two is better than one because you know with two people you can get more accomplished. Um, with two people, um, if one is lying with the other, there's heat. If there's only one person, then there's no heat. And you know the Bible says like woe to that person that is alone that doesn't have a friend. Um, so I just. I just thought about, you know, just over over time, you know, over you know, my life of, you know, the good friends that I've had, that I've been blessed to have. And I'm um, just the, um, the many good, you know, the many positive influences that I've been able to uh, encounter um, throughout my time. And, um, you know, when you think about it, it is a, a blessing to really be able to have people that you can, you know, rely on, that you trust. Um, that you can bring, you know, whatever matter it is that you have on your mind to, and you trust them to give you, um, you know, positive feedback and, you know, a good, you know, good, good advice, you know, good wisdom, you know, um, I can think of a bunch of times, you know, um, going to even, even, even my parents, you know, I, I would like to say that they're, they're my, my closest friends, you know, um, Obviously, they've known me forever. <laughs> so, but you know, just the many different things that I've been through, and where you know, I'm like, you know what, man, let me ask so and so because you know, I trust them. I know that they'll give me a good answer, a good, you know, some good feedback. And you know what? The most important thing I think when it comes to having a friend and you're trying to get advice from them is that they're going to be honest with you, even if it hurts you. It's not, you know, intentionally to like, you know, really hurt your feelings, but it's to kind of give you a tap on the head like, yo, you know, you need to keep it, you know, keep it real with yourself. Like, I'm going to tell you what you need to know and you need to take heed to that. You know, it's not to hurt your feelings, but it's to help you it's to, you know, build you up and, and so that you can be better, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. And, you know, just I'm, like you mentioned, you said, well, to um, the man who is alone. Right. And when you think about it, it's like, you know, God did not, um, he did not make us to be alone. He made us, you know, to have friends and to right. have companions and people that we can, you know, trust, mm-hmm. relate to, you know, conversate, right. and most importantly, motivate because, you know, I could just remember being on both sides of the fence where I was, you know, I had all the friends and I had all, you know, people that I can call on and, you know, but then I was also on the lonely um, spectrum because, and not because of, um, you know, it was, I was forced to, but it was by choice because, um, you know, I do believe that God calls you to isolate at, you know, a point in your life where you, yeah, that, that wilderness, wilderness right, yeah. where you just kind of need, you know, to be alone. Um, but that is just, for his glory and us to become closer to him and understand that, you know, becoming closer to him gives you that spirit discernment that you can discern whether these friends are friends that you want to keep around or friends that you actually want to, Mm -hmm. you know, know and love from a distance. Right. Right. You know, I I like that you said that because that brought me back to a time, um, 
two years ago when my grandmother passed away. And that was like a big turning point in my life just because of everything that, you know, ended up happening afterwards. I remember speaking to my boy, um, my bro, that's, this is family really, uh, JR, and he was telling me, and I, it, it, when I bring it up to him, he's like, yo, I don't even remember saying that to you. That's how you know that that was God speaking. And he was like, you know what, now you're going to realize that um, this is the time where it's only going to be you and God right now. And, you know, to think of, you know, when you, if you if you think about it, someone saying that to you after after someone passes away, it's like, why would you say that? But I didn't take it like that at all because I knew it was coming from a good place. And because, you know, like I said, that's family. So he, he always, you know, pours into me. I pour into him and, you know, we give each other great feedback. And, um, you know, that wilderness phase that you said, that's what that was. You know, me kind of just it's just being me and God and him really working on me and, you know, Helping me to see clearly, you know, what I needed to do, um, the things that I needed to do, who I needed to be around at that particular time. And, you know, it really helped build me up. So, you know, again, you know, that comes, you know, from having good friends that really can, you know, get to you, that 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 know you, that know God and that will, are, are able to pour into you and give you that good feedback that you need to hear. It may not be something that you want to hear, like I said, but it's something that you need to hear because, it's something that you need to hear is for the best, you know. Right. So, yeah. yeah, and I know like there was a period of time that there was a um, a logo or a saying going around um, that said "no new friends," <laughs> yeah. right? Where it was mm-hmm. like "no new friends, no new friends," like you know. And I just don't feel like that was a factual statement, Mm-mm. only because you know sometimes new friends is what helps you to you know, get closer to God and, you know, know what you are here and put on earth to do for God. Because, you know, there are some friends that will keep you stagnant, Mm -hmm. um, where you um, feel comfortable with what you're doing on a day to day basis. Maybe, you know, you're going out every weekend with the same friends, Mm -hmm. you you know, you're clubbing and you're doing things that is of this world. But, you know, there may be a new friend that comes along that will let you know like listen that that's not life like Mm -hmm. that's not how you are supposed to be living that's not what God called you to be you know and I believe that when it comes to friends and true friendship you're honest and a lot of times friends you know I know for me because I'm an I'm one of the honest friends where I'm blunt where I will say (laughs) like listen if you go out looking like that you're going to attract unnecessary attention. Mm -hmm. Or if you, you know, saying things like that, you know, people are going to, like, I'm one of those friends that I'm going to be real, you know? And um, a lot of times you don't have friends like that. You have friends that will um, cater to your likings. And that is not a type of friend that you kind of want to keep around because you want somebody that will let you know, you know, if you're, you know... If your wig is crooked. If your frontal, <laughs> you know, if your frontal is like, if there's a hump in that junk. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but like, yeah, you want a friend that's going to let gonna you know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You know, I um, remember hearing someone say, um, you look at your friends and that tells you who you are, you know? Right, because um, the Bible does say bad, bad company, company corrupts good, good character. character. Yeah. So, you know, you... Your friends do say a lot about you, you know. Um, I remember long ago, you know, in high school, telling someone that I was dating, like, yo, why are you hanging out with this girl? And that's not to say that I'm judging someone, but it's like, do you want to be seen in the same light as that person? And you know what's going on. You know what you're doing. So, you know, it's like you got to kind of, you know, get your mind right. Like, even though you, you may love your friends, and that's great. But you need to step out and be that example to them, you know. Right. Um, because who will? If if you don't, right. then who will? Right. You know, then it's just you guys are just all like coming together mm-hmm. and having the same conversation, ha- stations, having the same feelings, mm-hmm. you know, feeling depressed. I don't know why this. I don't know why that. And you don't know because you are not living out you know, the the destiny, the purpose that you right. have, you know, right. that God has called you to, to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, 
yeah, your friends help you get to, you know, that that place that, you know, you know that God has called you to be. And then also... Real um, friends. Right, real friends. <laughs> <laughs> and um, to touch back on what you said about, you know, having new friends, um, I can remember, you know, praying about you know, meeting God, you know, godly people, godly influences, you know, people that, you know, may know Christ or know the word of God better than I do that I can mm-hmm. learn from. And so, you know, it's not a bad thing to have new friends. It's just the quality of friends, you know, right. what's the saying? It's not quantity, it's quality, mm-hmm. you know, and I think that goes with friends as well. I think that goes with a lot of things in life, you know, but especially your friends, you need to have those good friends that are going to help steer you in the right direction and that aren't afraid to, you know, tell you what's up and tell you what you need to hear. But what, you know? So what do you say, just a quick question, mm-hmm. so what do you say to that friend that may be listening, right? And she's one of the friends that is different, you know, mm-hmm. like she is not like her friends, but because she grew up with them and, you know, they're so like conformed and comfortable with how they were and how they, you know, the process of them growing up, they just... They literally are all they know. Like, her, those friends are all they know. Mm-hmm. So what do you tell that person that, like, wants to kind of be that friend that be, like, is honest or does step out, but she is so used to these these friends? Like, what do you tell that person? Well, sometimes, you know, like you said, you kind of just get comfortable with, you know, being in, in that crowd, even though you do know that you're a little bit different than the others. And that's not to say you're better than them. It's just you know that, you know, there's more to life or there's more that you want out of life. Right. And so sometimes, you know, I guess, well, you know, I was just, I, I'm, I'm big on, like, different sayings. You know, um, you love people from a distance. Sometimes you just have to separate yourself, you know, for yourself, you know, to get yourself together. And then when the time is right, you know, you can come back around those people if, you know, if they're open to it, you know, because sometimes people, you know, take offense to that, like, oh, you change, you know, but you're not supposed to stay the same. You're supposed to continue to grow. That's what life is about. Life is about growth. So, you know, I would just say, you know, do what you need to do to make sure, you know, your, your situation and your life is in order. And then when the time is right, you'll know when that is. God will let you know when that is. You make your, you know, you come back around, you know, it's all love. It's not, you know, no animosity. It shouldn't be, at least, on your end. And, you know, if they are are opening to that, if they, you know, take that, you know, olive branch that you extended to them, then you just kind of keep it real with them and tell them what was going on, you know. Maybe they'll take take kindly to that and be like, you know what, you're right, you know, we're getting older now. It's, it is time for us to do different things. We shouldn't be doing the same right. thing at, you know. 30 30. years old that we was doing at 18. Yeah, exactly. And I also, I do believe that true friendship, like with friends, Mm -hmm. you do not have to talk every day. Like, and I think that a lot of people need to get that, you know, in their cabeza. (laughs) (laughs) I was watching some Spanish stuff today. Um, But... (laughs) Seriously, like, I really think that people need to get that to their head. Like, we don't have to talk every day. We can be friends and we can talk on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. Or we can talk, you know, when convenient. Mm -hmm. We don't have to talk on a day-to-day basis and respect that. And then also, you know, I don't don't feel any type of way when we do come together. Because I myself have friends that... We don't, we barely talk, Mm. but when we do talk or when we do get together, you would never have known that we haven't Mm -hmm. even talked in about eight months. Mm -hmm. Like that's how real it is. But you know, at the end of the day is no hard feelings. You know, I pray for those same friends and I I wish those friends nothing but the best, you know, but there is, you know, I have my life, I have my family, I have, you know, things that I need to take care of, I have my business, and they also have their things going on, you know, Mm -hmm. I just feel like that needs to, you know, be like, very like clear, you know, to, to friends, I know with my friends, but I do have some friends that, 
you know, they feel some type of way. Like, mm. we ain't talk and, you know, Michelle's a little stuck up and Michelle <laughs> this, but it's not really like that. Right. It's all love. I right. just have, you know, things yeah. that I need to handle. Yeah, everybody has, you know, life going on, you know.